I just encountered some quirks with the R50V, and that is when I go to the menu system and I want to enable false color or zebra settings, they're grayed out. You're not allowed to do that. And it seems like when you have certain menu features enabled, that automatically disables other features. So you can only use one or the other. You can't use all of these exposure control features at the same time, Sp exposure and focus control features. So if you want to enable the zebra settings, what you have to do is you go into your autofocus, go to the fourth page to the manual peak settings, hit manual peak, peaking, and you got to turn off peaking. Once you turn off peaking, you can go back and then you have your zebra settings that you can turn on or off now. Now you can turn it on. But the problem is you have to disable the zebra in order to have the false color in addition to disabling the C-Log view assist. Now, when you're shooting C-Log and you don't have a view assist, you get the flat picture profile. You don't really get to see what the image is going to look like once you pop the, the video clips into your computer and put a 709 LED on there. So you got to go into the view assist and turn this off. Now you can go back and then you also have to disable the zebra settings. Turn off the zebra settings. Now you can, the false color is, you, you can enable it and turn it on. Boom, turn on your false color. And now you can have false color like this, which is a feature that not a lot of uh, these mirrorless cameras have. You have to go to the cinema cameras in order to have false color. I think this is one of the only mirrorless cameras in this form factor in this price range that gives you false color. But let me turn off the display here. Yeah, so when you're in this display, this false color is really used to get the best, well, some people think it's one of the best tools to judge exposure. If you don't want it and you wanna switch back, you gotta go to your menu, false color, turn that off then you're back. But this is, this is the C log without any LUTs on there. So then you gotta go back to the view assist, turn your view assist on to a 709 LUT. Okay, now this is properly, I mean, this is what, if you put on a general 709 LUT, this is what it's gonna look like, the, the representation of what it would look like. So I don't know if this is common in other camera systems or other Canon camera systems where you have to disable certain features in order to enable other features. Um, let me know in the comments if this is a, a thing by Canon or other manufacturers. I think it's kind of annoying. I'm glad these features are in such a small, lower priced camera, but it feels like all these camera manufacturers, they don't wanna give you everything. They, they always wanna take some things away to make it more difficult for seemingly no reason. But that's my rant. Um, curious if anyone else has the same problem.